All right, what is going on guys? Today we are watching Call of the Night Season 1 Episode 6. In the last episode, we had a Nazana and Ko uh, kind of orientated episode. Um, no Akira, unfortunately. I do like her character. Uh, obviously, first part of the episode was like Ko wasn't there yet. Um, <laughs> Nazana was clearly very bored, so she was just wandering, out, wandering around, trying to kill time. Went to the sauna or the bathhouse. Um, came out early because he was like, hey, I'm here. And she had like really nice long hair. Uh, that was a nice part of the episode. Um, and then they went on back to uh, Nazana's house. And uh, we kind of found out what it is that Nazana does for a living or to earn money. Obviously hadn't done it in a while, so she was kind of broke. Um, and then she, we have a client come over for Nazana. And I was like, oh, I'm too tired. Which, which she wasn't. She's trying to get Ko to do it because he needs to earn some money. Um, so yeah, let's get to see how this is going to go. How a 14-year-old boy with no massage experience is going to massage this woman. I don't know. Uh, yeah, overall, very looking forward to it. So as always, guys, if you're new to the channel, please hit that subscribe button and like the video as well. And uh, let's go into this episode right now. She's really stressed. She ain't about that social shit. But I guess it sounds kind of hellish from her point of view. Imagine. Jesus Christ. God damn, this is more than a massage. I'll reward you with a kiss. And he's like, yeah, I'm gonna do this. Is he dressed like a nurse? Yeah. <laughs> Look at him. Watch him like actually pull this off though. God. This is not what one might think. I'm not feeling up a woman right now. It doesn't feel as good as when she does it. She probably likes Nazana doing, doing it because she's like hella strong as a vampire. Can I ask how old you are? You should probably lie. Oh, okay, well. Yeah, that is the correct correct reaction. Maybe you shouldn't have been so honest. There's this thing I want to do. Kiss a vampire, that's what. Maybe she's someone that, like, would like the night like he does. She did say she liked, quite the, liked it when it was quiet. Ten whole years, bro. She's 24. Must be a really safe area if you could feel like this in uh when go out going out at night. Well, she seems to be enjoying herself, even though he's probably not given the hundred percent massage that she was after. He's actually really good with talking to people. It's quite surprising. Bro, I feel you, girl. Fucking adult life, man. Girl, it sounds like you need to quit your job and find something that you enjoy. You have to go back to the office at this time of night? Bro, get fucked. Holy fuck. Quit your job. <laughs> That's what he's thinking about. Yeah, that, that's how you approach that, bro. You are going to enjoy this night. What? She can just come through walls? Bro, are you going to catch her? Is she floating? Oh, they're, they're on like the top floor, aren't they? Oh, he jumped as well. God damn, Nazana, you scare people. That was fucking cool, though. Holy shit. I love how much faith he has in Nazna as well. He just jumped out the window too without thinking. Bro, if anything. I mean, and clearly in Japan, people just can choose not to go to school. But you can quit your job. Very naive, but he's spitting facts. Yeah, for real though. Fuck that. Get the hell out of my sight. Such a ridiculous logic. And yet, it makes sense. Oh, this is sweet. 
I'd like her to be a character that sticks around, but it feels like she's only going to be like a, a one episode thing. Fucking truck gun is going to come take his ass out. Bro, the streets look so clean. Goddamn. Probably because you're crazy too. Sure. Yeah, you know, you gotta work, gotta earn money. But, like, maybe sort your hours out and tell your boss to fuck off. Yeah? She has to fall in love with you to do that, bro. I mean, that's nice. He's given, like, given her, like, a, a, an opportunity if she wants to change her life. This man is all about bold declarations. <laughs> he says this so easily and she freaks out. Hey, that's a, he's got a point about that. He did uh, he did reject someone from school. Maybe he's a catch. But like also, dude, she's 24. That's that is is very weird. You should you guys should go to an amusement park that's closed and break in. Skibble. Pool? Interesting. We're in for some mad vibes. <laughs> I love her. Oh, damn. They're going to like a club pool. Yo. This is vibes as hell. I didn't know what a nighttime pool was. This is this is pretty cool. I'd go to one of these. This feels like it'd probably be quite expensive. Oh, there's just gals everywhere. Good question. She's wearing more clothes than usual. Why is she wearing glasses anyway? Just to look hip, I guess. It's different. Like, if you see someone who wears a bunch of clothes all the time, it's the same kind of thing. The whole fucking place staring at Nazuna? Kind of thing actually happens. I mean, she can handle herself, bro, don't worry. Oh, she's teasing him? Come on, Ko. Yeah, and they just step back from this little kid. Lol. Oh, they finally showed the dude's faces. Lol. The nicest guys that have ever hit on a girl? In anime? What the hell? You guys didn't even get to enjoy the pool? Didn't even get to see in a swimsuit? Bruh. Oh, he got jealous. True, that is very different to what he's been doing previously. Don't bite your tongue. What, is she going to take him to the ocean or something? Oh. <laughs> Bro, are you going to break his fucking neck? Aw, she's sweet. Has she drank his blood this episode? Oh, she's doing it now? In a pool? Or he's going to get blood everywhere? Alright, so that was Call of the Night, episode 6. Uh, first, half of the episode, first half of the episode I really loved. Um, it was nice of them just to kind of de-stress the woman, realise there's not an, as much presser, pressure as there needs to be. She has a horrible freaking work life. Jesus Christ, she needs to go smack her boss or something. Um, yeah, hopefully uh, things improve with her. It was really sweet of go to uh kind of declare to her that if you ever don't want to deal with life anymore i'll turn you into a vampire um you know that's a bit of a bit of an age difference there co but it was sweet of you to say anyway obviously she doesn't know how people get turned into vampires so um but yeah that was really nice and then the second half of the episode we saw a little bit of uh a little bit of jealousy from co in the uh, in the nighttime pool um again she's just teasing uh, it's what she does but she knows when it's like all right i've gone too far i apologize very sweet. I love I love their relationship, and I'm loving seeing it uh, blossom and grow as well. Um, but yeah, overall a very good episode, and I'm definitely looking forward to the next. And anyway, guys, I want to thank you guys so much for watching. Have a nice rest of your day, and peace out.